Some experimental investigation of products from thermoplastic composite materials manufactured with robot and LAFP. For successful avoiding of the irregularities and errors in the products from composite materials, it is important to manage the whole production process in real time. This applies to detecting certain irregularities, positioning defects, bonding defects, controlling the robot and process parameters. This paper presents results from an experimental study of the influence of embedded defects created during in situ laser automated fiber tape placement, LAFP, on the mechanical properties of carbon slash peak composites. Three rings have been examined with different designs, 0 slash plus or minus 45 degree, N, 0 slash plus or minus 30 degree, N and 0 slash plus or minus 90 degree, N, in which gaps and overlaps have been introduced during fiber placement. The microstructures were characterized by optic microscopy. ILSS tests were performed on samples from rings and showed that the presence of a gap slash overlap and voids more than 3% affect mechanical behavior of pipes but does not affect degree of crystallinity. Keywords, LAFP, defects, process parameters, ILSS, void. I introduction. Composite material is a combination of two or more materials which results with improved properties in comparison to the properties of individual application of the same materials. Recently, the thermoplastic matrix composites are dot ending new applications in different industrial area due to their intrinsic advantages related to environmental compatibility and processability 1 to 4. Dot equality of the final composite thermoplastic part depends mostly on machine, robot, accuracy, the geometry of the object where the laying is performed and process parameters. Robot accuracy research has long been a focal point not only for scientific institutions, but even more so for companies that make robots and those that use them. SAMAC ETAL5 described the influence of the calibration of the robot on the accuracy of ATL-AFP process. Hollander ETAL6 evaluated the effect of the layup sequence, ply thickness, and ply precompaction on the wrinkle occurrence when forming a quasi-isotropic laminate made of unidirectional layers. For a double-curved geometry, their results showed that the layup sequence had a dominant effect compared to other parameters. Honopel ETAL7,8 have shown clear differences in terms of ply wrinkling, between a unidirectional CF slash peak and a carbon slash polyphenylene sol. The CF slash PPS, using a carbon fabric for the molding of complex part geometry. They observed that the UD material had more difficulties in conforming to 3D geometries, and they highlighted the fact that both types of composite cannot be deemed similar when considering the processing cycle. The challenge of automated dot per placement is to completely lay down the laminate with a dot net dot per orientation without gaps or overlaps. Successful dot per placement without gaps or overlaps is dependent on many parameters, such as mold geometry, tape width, and dot per orientation. Study 9 has shown that the effect of overlaps can reduce in-plane shear strength, ILSS, by up to 13%. Overlapping is more important than the problem of gaps. The void content of in-situ consolidated TPC parts depends on process parameters, the layup speed of fiber, temperature, part geometry, and prepreg quality. Another key concern in situ consolidated TPC part is crystallinity, the ordered molecular structure that forms in semi-crystalline polymers, such as PEAK, PEKK, and PPS, as they cool from melt temperature to a solid. In general, slower cooling rates increase crystallinity, which results in higher mechanical properties and chemical resistance in the finished laminate 10 to 24. Chen and Chung Ten studied the crystallization kinetics of CF slash PEAK composites at 61% dot per volume content, for both the isothermal and the non-isothermal crystallization approaches. They showed that a higher cooling rate causes the crystallization to start at a lower temperature and is obtained over a wider temperature range. Many authors 20 to 35 today work to improve the in-situ laser-assisted AFP process. Some work 25 on intimate contact and heat transfer, some work 26 to 30 on fixing and removing defects that occur in the whole process and some work 30 to 35 on technological processes that require the appropriate technological parameters to improve product quality. The present paper reports on studies for possible defects and process parameters during robotized LAFP process. One of the primary objectives of this phase of the study is to identify the dominant processing parameters and establish their influence on the quality of final composite materials. 2. LAFP process the laser-assisted tape-slash-fiber placement, LATP-slash-LAFP, process is an automated composite manufacturing technique often quoted for its potential ability to produce composite parts with an in-situ consolidation, which avoids an expensive time and energy-consuming step of post-consolidation. But, in order to be competitive this process needs to ensure a certain level of quality of the fabricated parts. There are three key reasons for the occurrence of irregularities in the final product from composite material. Machine accuracy. The geometry of the object where the laying is performed and 
process parameters. Thus, this paper focuses on the positioning defects and bonding defects, second reasons. The rest of this paper is organized as follows. In section B are described the positioning and bonding defects during the LAFP process, mainly gaps and overlaps. Section C focuses on the modeling method of void defects for the thermoplastic composites made by the LAFP process from gap slash overlap or process parameters. A machine accuracy. Tool positon, how precisely the roller of LAFP slash LATL head follows the laying and orientation path, deviation from the predicted orientation of the head can cause separaton of the material from the background where the laying is performed, the robot accuracy. Each from them directly affects the quality of the final products. This section is not the subject of study in this paper. B. The geometry of the object where the laying is performed. The most common irregularities, possible defects, that occur in the process of laying during LAFP process are shown in table I. Gap between courses is inadmissible magnitude of the distance between two adjacent courses. Gap between toes is inadmissible magnitude of the distance between two adjacent toes. Overlap is a defect in which two adjacent toes overlap. Missing toe is an empty space where in the reference state there should be a toe. Early add slash late cut is early applying of toe at the beginning of a course or delayed cutting of a toe at the end of a course. Late add slash early cut is late applying of toe at the beginning of a course or early cutting of a toe at the end of a course. See process parameters. The mechanical performance of the final parts depends on many factors. Final product from LAFP should be void free and well consolidated for reliable use in structure. Thermal degradation induced during processing should be minimal in order material to retain its properties. Its crystallinity should be within the recommended range for the material to attain the optimal properties. Experimental studies were performed with constants process parameters, laser temperature, temperature of tool, compaction force, the angles of laying, the angles of laser beam, dimension of compaction roller, mechanisms for cutting tapes and layup speed. In this paper the impact of the technological parameters of the final product, is not studied. The technological parameters for experiments are taken from trial tests and the experience with LAFP technology. 3. Experimental Investigation A. Materials and Equipment This study investigated the thermoplastic prep regs, UD prepreg material supreme trademark T with carbon fiber, as 4 carbon fiber, and matrix peak, vitrex 150 peak, supplied by supreme, Switzerland. Specimens were manufactured with thickness 0.14 mm of TPC prep reg. The laminates were obtained by using a laser-assisted fiber placement head, LAFP, produced by Microsam, RN Macedonia. Head is attached to a robot arm, KUKA, as it is shown in Fig 1. The tape head consists of, 1, a consolidation roller, outer diameter of 60 mm, 2, a tape feed, guidance, tensioning, and cutting system for UD tape, 3, an optic lens connected via a fiber optic cable to a remotely located 3 kW diode laser heat source, and a temperature sensor, pyrometer. On the way to the consolidation roller, the tape is heated up to polymer melt temperature using a laser. The tape is then placed on the tool and consolidated with a temperature controlled roller, about 190 C. As a mandrel for the ring specimens a specific cylindrical mandrel was used. The diameter of the mandrel is 400 mm, and the length is 500 mm. B. Mechanical analysis. Short beam strength tests were performed for interlaminar bond strength characterization. In this study, the ASTM D2344 standard was followed. Samples were prepared using flats from the center where the process had reached steady state. The samples were cut carefully using precision diamond saw. The dot niche dimensions of the samples were within the tight tolerances of size according standard ASTM D2344. SBS tests were performed with an universal testing machine. Load was applied with a rate of 1 mm per minute. UTM and sample with used test fixture are given in figure where Fm is the maximum force observed during the test in newtons, B and H are the measured specimen width and thickness in millimeters respectively. See optical microscope. The void content of composite product is very important parameter that characterizes the quality of the produced composite part. The samples was extracted from each rings. Ten images capture and analysis were performed and they were evaluated for the void content for each of the laminates, rings, manufactured by LAFP process. Separation of the dot press, resin, and voids were performed on selected regions using image analysis software image J, NIH. DDSC. A commonly used method for measuring crystallinity in polymeric materials called differential scanning calorimeter, DSC, is used in this study to validate model predictions with experimental results. The degree of crystallinity of CF-peak laminates was measured by a differential scanning calorimetry, DSC, 
technique according to ISO 11357 to 337. DSE tests were conducted by means of calibrated DSE instrument equipment from Mettler Toledo. The weights of samples extracted from each laminate were in the range of 7 to 15 mg. Dynamic tests were performed with a heating rate of 10 degrees C slash min from room temperature up to 400 degrees Celsius. A cooling rate of 10 degrees C slash min was then performed. For the calculation of the degree of crystallinity XC, the expression, 2, was used. Where dotum is the enthalpy of fusion at melting point, dot HC is the enthalpy of cold crystallization, which is observed in some cases, HF is the enthalpy of the completely crystalline polymer, 130J slash G for peak. WF refers to weight fraction of carbon fiber within the laminate. At least four samples were tested from each laminate, ring, and the average data was considered to represent the final degree of crystallinity XC of each laminate, ring. Four results and discussion. A manufacture of ring specimens. In these trials was utilized conformable silicone consolidation roller with outer of diameter 60 mm consolidation load was applied via pneumatic cylinder, adjusted to provide a 600 N load. The surface temperature of the tape and substrate in this study were measured for all trials with a thermal camera. Initial experiments were carried out to understand the relationship between process parameters and the quality of the ring obtained in order to optimize the process. Three ring samples were manufactured with different designs shown in figure 8. The process settings are presented in Table 2. BILSS. Figure 10 shows a typical force time diagram at ambient temperature for samples NO3, 1 to 5. ILSS of composite rings were determined for five specimens for each ring according to equation, 1. The average values for each experiment are shown in Table 3. Conclusion. The experimental procedure described in the present work is suitable to study the influence of the most common irregularities, defects, that occur in the process of laying during LAFP process, on mechanical characteristics of final product. From conducted mechanical testing can be concluded that the best results in shear strength were obtained with ring 3. It is assumed that the lower mechanical properties of ring 1 samples are caused by voids and gaps in the final composite, because process parameters are constants for all investigated samples in this study. Void contents are within the allowed void tolerance for thermoplastic manufactured with LAFP, however, in further studies targets will be focused to manufacture composite materials with LAFP method with less voids contents and better consolidated laminates. Doc, XC, of all rings laminate reached average crystallinity with a value of XC equals 35-39% and below these levels mechanical properties would drop off significantly. Combining de dot rent sensors, systems for detection of defect in LAFP process, will become the focus of studying the online detection and controlling defects in the future research. Acknowledgement the authors would like to acknowledge the support of the research team from Institute for Advanced Composites and Robotics Prilip and engineering team from Microsam DOO Prilip, NR Macedonia.